welcome back to the Moondocks Homestead, guys. Hey, I have been gone all day. And if you watched our last video, um, we picked two five-gallon buckets of green beans, contenders, and we've had to put them in the refrigerator. It was so late. So I had to get up early this morning. Tim had to get up early, and there was just no way we could do it. So we put them in the refrigerator, and they're going to be fine. They're still, they feel firm, and they probably snap. Yeah, they still snap. And I'm going to make dilly beans out of my ball book. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do that today. Um, I'm not going to take you through the whole, I mean, I'll take you through the process, but not of me cutting these beans, okay? And let me get you where you can see everything real close. Okay, I'm going to use a jar, you guys. I Most of mine are the largemouth that I'm going to use, but I run out and all I have left is these that I could find anyway on my shelf. So we're just going to go by these. We're going to cut these lengthwise like this. So... I'm going to pick the straightest ones that I can, actually. And I'm just going to trim off the ends here. I'm going to put them down in here. And these are the ones that I'm going to go by. We're going to cut them to about, let me just do one. How about that? To about right here. Now, we won't waste that. We'll use those to put in our other beans. Okay? So then I'm going to cut off these ends. And then cut this off right here. And those should all fit right perfect in my jar. The right length. And then I'm just going to fill up my jar with all of them that length. Okay? So I'll do a few and show you. I need one of these to go by. Get a little straighter one. Some of them are really curvy, and I'm going to put those in there because we'll use these on the other beans. I've got lots of beans to do today. Lots of beans. I think it's going to be a biscuit and gravy dinner tonight because that'll be simple. I've got my jars in, over there boiling. We're going to boil them for about 10 minutes. And so I thought, well, I could get some of this done by then. Let's see. I'll leave one out. We'll see what this looks like so far. Know what these are they're just pickled beans and they're gonna make a good snack they're gonna be good it's another way to preserve them and we'll be able to water bath them I won't have to now there's a bug bite on that one right there so we won't be able to use him we'll put him over there we'll use this one okay let me go ahead and cut up some more here I won't I'll fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit through it. <laughs> okay, so you guys get the idea, right? So I'm going to pack these kind of tight. Because you know they'll shrivel up some. And they're a little bit up. I'll probably just push them down a little bit. I'm not going to get too excited about how tall they are, okay? And some of them aren't pushed all the way down in there. But I'm not going to really start packing them or nothing because I've got to rinse these off. So I'm just going to put them in this bowl. And then I'll rinse them and then I'll start packing my jars. But I've got to get enough for seven jars. i got seven jars in my canner. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll bring you back, okay? All right, y'all. I got all the beans cut. They're probably not going to be the perfect. Every piece is not going to be perfect. And it won't fit perfect in the jar, but that's just how it goes, right? So I measured them out, two pounds, except 
I've, I'm doing a double batch, so I'm doing four pounds, okay? Um, one batch does four pints, and so two batches is going to do eight pints, and so I've got enough, I've got plenty to do, to do that. Okay, so after I got done with that, before I brought you back, I went ahead and got my vinegar and water and salt going in my pan, which I need to turn back on. And um, it's 50% water, 50% vinegar. So I put five cups of water, five cups of vinegar. Now it only calls for two and a half cups because that's for a single batch in my ball book, okay? And this is what I'm doing it out of, my ball book. So I'm going to, and then I put this salt, my ball canning salt. I'm almost out of this. And um, I say I'm going to use my uh, Redmond Real Salt, and I do when I'm doing little batches of stuff. But when I'm doing big batches, I go ahead and use this. I wanted to use this up. But price-wise, cost-wise, this is a lot cheaper than the Redmond Salt. So um, it's just it depends on what you want, okay? Just don't use table salt. Uh, table salt causes some sort of reaction, and you're not supposed to can with table salt, okay? Anyway, okay, so I got my fresh dill, and I got my garlic. I've got my garlic already uh, cut up here. I got my fresh dill. I'm going to put in some organic dill weed with it and some cayenne pepper. Now, you can leave that cayenne pepper out. You don't have to put that in there if you don't want it. I'm going to because we kind of like a little bit of heat. Tim more than me, but... Um, I do like a little bit. All right. Let's get it going here. I'm going to put some dill weed in there. So let's put one in each thing. Okay. So then we're going to put a thing of garlic. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put some dill weed. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to put half, we're going to put a little over four, like a heaping fourth, okay, in each one. I don't want it to be so strong I can't take it. And then, how? it didn't say how much, did it? Cayenne pepper, a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is going to be pretty warm in, anyway. Okay. And then my pickle crisp. Okay, now we're going to pack these beans. we got to get going or my jars are going to cool off. And I'm just going to pack these just like we sh I showed you over there while I was cutting them. Okay, you guys, I got these all packed, ready to go in that hot water. Might as well leave that off. I'm going to bring this over. Here. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to put this. This is our vinegar and water. Half inch, that's to that one. That first line there. You know what I forgot to do? Let's see. I got seven, eight jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one of these. Those are some uh, ball lids I had left. So we're going to get rid of those. I'm just going to pour. This is just vinegar and water and salt. So. I don't even think I need a funnel. I will have to debubble these. That's going to move them around a little bit. I just hate to keep you on here so long 
because but then for first time canners you know they want to watch it so I guess I gotta cater to them because if you already know how to do it then you don't really need to I reckon but they will our first time canners out there they need to know right okay you see how that's moving them beans up to the top as I debubble I'm hoping I can push them back down because I sure can. There we go. Hmm. Okay. They don't feel that hot to me. Even with that hot stuff on there, they don't. Like, I'm going to turn this off. Alright. Uh, let's see, I need two more. And then I always just save my lids. Or my rings, I'm sorry. I do save my lids too. Depend on what I'm making, if I would use it over. And it'd have to be a really good one before I'd use it over. I don't make a habit of that at all. But, that don't seem like that went on very well. That one's not too good. We're going to put him to the side. That one's bent. You got to watch, you got to watch those too when you're putting your lids, your rings on. Make sure they're in good shape, just like you do your jars. You know, I got a safety video. I can tag underneath this if I can remember to. And you can watch it. And just finger tight. I know I say that all the time. Finger tight. You don't crank, crank, crank down on them. Okay. Let's put these in here. I hope they don't um, bust. Because it's these aren't very hot. And that water's really hot. Make sure your water's an inch over your lid, guys. Or your... Top of your jar, make sure you got an inch of water over the top of your jar, okay? That's pretty basic for anything that you put in there. I've got so many beans, I can't tell you. Well, you all know we've got two five gallon and we're not done. I got to get busy making. Beans, can and beans. Okay, let me turn this back on. Now, let me get you up here where I can see you. All right, we're going to boil, we're going to bring them to a boil. And when they come to a boil, I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And then we're going to let them boil for 10 minutes. I'm going to pull them out on here and let them cool. And I'll bring you back, so don't go nowhere, all right? I'm going to clean up this mess. Okay, I've just about, <laughs> I got all this done. I got all the dilly beans done, guys. Um, it made two, four, six, eight, ten pints, okay? I doubled the recipe, and it made ten pints for me. Um, and I had enough brine to put over them. So, there they are. Now, I'm not going to be able to taste them. I'm going to leave them in here about a week, and then I'll open one up. I'll put it in the refrigerator the night before, and I'll come up, uh, get on here, and give you an update of how they turned out. And they look good. They look really good. So we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> I've been, Tim and I have been breaking beans, and we're, I'm going to do some just some regular quarts of beans with these. Uh, and try to get this done. It's already on uh, 7 o'clock almost. So I'm going to try to get these done. And then we still got another bag in the fridge. I might see if um, uh, our daughter-in-law wants those. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm exhausted. I'm going to get off here. I hope you enjoyed this. I um, hope you try some of these. And I, Lord willing, We'll catch you on the next video. I've got another one coming up. 
Um, I think I'm putting on tonight for tomorrow. Um, and then I'll put this one on. So, anyways, I'm trying to keep up, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up with you. So, just bear with me. I got a lot going on. I had bus training all day, or not all day, but till 1 o'clock today. Tomorrow, I'm, I'll be baking all day. So, I'm going to try to put these videos on in between. I'm just a busy gal, okay? I don't know. I'm just busy. So, bear with me, okay? So, y'all have a blessed night, blessed evening, and blessed weekend. And Lord willing, I'll catch you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.